Hello guys, welcome to Alpha Creations and in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create a water droplet design with a ripple effect beneath it and um, let's start by opening Inkscape. Good. Now with this, starting fresh, we go to file, we go to document properties and over here we make sure we are working in pixels, we come down here to also in pixels. Then, um, and also, yeah, for the first status, um, you might have to see, you see this checked box, um, show border shadow, you see all these things checked. Um, you can just turn them off, you can pretty just turn them on if you just want them. There's no difference to that. We click out of that. Um, as I have mine already here, um, you come here to the align and distribute, you click on it to open, and you also come to the edit nodes gradients. This, you also click on that to also open. But that's what we'll pretty be um we'll be working with actually. So to begin, we come here to the shapes, we pick the rectangle shape, we hold control shift and bring this all the way down. Yeah, sorry because my background is white, so you might probably not see anything. Let me just pick a color for it. Um, um black over here. Let's click out of it. So we come to the fill and stroke menu, we click it, we scroll down. Down here where the opacity is, um, we drop the opacity way down in half. Something like this is pretty much good for stats. Then we click on this again to have the rotation handles. We hold control, then hold one of the handles, then we drag it up here to have the pointers vertically going vertically up this way. So again, um, let's convert this shape actually into a path for that design. So we come here to the path, object to path. Then we come to the nodes, edit nodes, um, edit path by nodes too. This one, just beneath the cursor, just this one. Um, we're going to select this down node here with these two middle nodes together, and um, this way. So now the three of them are selected. And you actually know that the three of them are selected the moment you see this blue shade um, shade on them. And this one is not selected because you actually didn't select it. So we come here to this section here that says uh, make selected nodes auto smooth we click on that good now having it this way i think um our drop the water drop design um droplet design is coming up by its own so what we'll do next is that um with this middle nodes here we drag and select them this way so you see automatically this one just went off because it wasn't selected in there uh, when we're picking that section and um with this selected um let's hold control then drag this down into something like this. Yeah, which which is pretty much okay. Then we come up here to this side. That's a that show transformation handles. Then we just click on that. And um, with this selected, what we do, um, we hold control shift. Then, um, sorry. Yep. Then we drag this inward this way more this way and um i think from the shape i'm having here um let me turn this off right now let me hold control again bring this a little bit nah a little bit down yeah then um i select this note down here the button note i select that and um i come here that says that make selected no symmetric i click on that and i hold control and drag this this way at least um this this pretty much okay you can actually play with the design um to have your kind of outs um droplet you want to have and um with this i think i'm okay with this droplet design so what we do we hit um we hit the shape again then we come down here to the color panel um, we select this color that's a zero zero ccff that's one. We just select it and we bring the opacity all the way up this way. Then we come to under the fill and stroke um, fill and stroke menu, um, under the fill tab, um, under the HSL. Um, down here in the H colon, we hit this and um, we bring it inward this way to have um, a pretty nice shade of the blue like that yeah i think this will pretty do for um the tutorial this will, this will do much for the tutorial so again we duplicate this by hitting ctrl d then 
we come again back to our colors the same color we click on that and then with this we hit we hold this this section here and we hit control shift and then um we drag this a little bit inward pretty much okay that's very okay then we hold control with the down button node here we hold this and drag it inward that way that's pretty much okay yeah then again we come here we under the h colon we slide this inwardly um making it a little bit darker that's pretty much okay so again we hit ctrl d again to duplicate it um we give it the same color the beginning color that's this um we hold ctrl we hold the node down here we draw that inwardly um this this side is pretty much okay then we come up here holding control again we draw this inwardly um that's that's pretty much okay for this and then for this one let's actually make under the hsl colon let's under the um the l colon we draw this inwardly um making it a little bit lighter giving it the white good that's that's pretty much okay then again we hit ctrl d to duplicate it and before we send this one up um let's make it way whiter way whiter like this um that's pretty much okay then again holding ctrl and holding down here we draw that inwardly all the way up here like this good and again holding ctrl we bring this down that's pretty much okay and then with the water droplet sign i'm sorry design we have here we can actually see that um we are getting the effect we want but let's add more feel to this like more feel to this design out here so what we'll do is um under this section we click on this the very first um not the big one but yeah the immediate one we click on this one um let's say ctrl d duplicate it let's make that one um red let's drop the opacity way in half something like this and um let's scroll you hold control then you just scroll up your mouse wheel to just zoom in there or you can just hit um, your plus on your keyboard to zoom into um, the canvas your drawing space so again holding control shift we scale this inwardly i think that's pretty much okay um yeah then with this selected the red selected let's say control d again duplicate it and make that one green we're going to add um a nice feel to this this whole thing so again hitting control and holding it here we draw this inwardly but you know that before that let, let's 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 do something um control z to undo now let's hold control and hold this and drag it inwardly this way that's pretty much okay so we hold shift and also with this selected with the green selected we hold shift and we click on the red section here and we come straight to path come to difference good with this done we choose the white color for it so um, we come down here again we drop the opacity way up making it this way we can actually bring this down holding control bringing it a little bit down this way that's that's pretty much okay for that and um let's let's zoom out okay um i think i pretty like this one that's that's cool so what we do again is um we select this one this this over here we hit ctrl d to duplicate it um we also make that one red again we come to the opacity we drop that in half to exactly see what we're doing and um holding ctrl shift to scale it evenly we scale it in there um that's that's pretty much okay and um we hit ctrl d again make that one green um, zoom out now with this handle over here we hit um control then we drag this outwardly you know um i just don't have this okay good now let's zoom in now we hit on holding shift we click on the red outline having it selected you have a select you know it's selected when you see this this um short dashes around it and you see that one too so the two actually selected we go again to path we go to difference then we bring it white 
then we bring the opacity all the way up um i think i pretty much love this this one out here we can actually see um the water droplet design um shape out there like really nice coming from this so what we'll do next is um making you know what let's 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 add one last thing to it let's add one last thing to it so again having this selected um sorry let's like let me click out let me zoom in okay so when the cycle to let me pick red for the cycle um let's make an ellipse just make an ellipse of your choice um something like this no holding control or anything just make an ellipse let's draw a little circle this way get all the way here let's bring that somewhere here make it white with opacity all the way up here so um yeah um let's scale this down holding control shift let me scale it down a little bit something like this then we hit control d again to duplicate it so we bring that one up here holding control shift we scale it down again this way that's pretty much okay um no let's drop it more and something like that so it's okay so hitting control d again we bring this all the way up and then um holding control shift we scale this all the way down now we want to select the three of them so we hit the control i'm sorry the shift key click on this and click on that and um we're then selected we come we come here the align and distribute menu if you've not opened that that's where to open it from this menu so um we come down to the distribution menu under the distribution menu we come here that's make uh, vertical gaps between objects equal we just like that they're actually equal so yeah then we hit ctrl g to group the items together then we hit on it again to have the rotation handles we hold ctrl then we turn it a little bit this way then we bring this somewhere here yeah i pretty much love this this design this this is good not bad so we select everything here we hit ctrl g to group everything together so we just don't um, mistakenly push anything in my way so again making a ripple effect um we pick come back to the circle we make an ellipse um before making the ellipse let me pick red okay so making the ellipse don't hold ctrl shift just make that shape like that and that's pretty much okay good we bring this somewhere here so um before we we do anything else um let's hit holding shift let's click on the water droplet design let's align the two of them on the same line vertically yeah so now we can click out of it and then with this selected with the rest selected let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it give it orange let's with the handle here let's hold ctrl drag it inwardly somewhere like that it will be pretty much okay then we hit holding the shift key we click on the red section then we go to path then we go to difference to have this kind of shape here um we hit ctrl d again to duplicate it um with the handle here we hit ctrl again draw that inwardly um that's pretty much okay that's that's good and um you know what let me let me just duplicate this again duplicate that's ctrl d holding ctrl with the handle here i remove that inwardly um that's good that's good at least three three of the ripple effects it's it's quite okay and um with the very first one selected let's hold shift click on that and click on that to ctrl g to group all of them together but if you actually pay close attention you see that um with the design we have the ripple effect is um it's in front of our water droplet which is not supposed to be so so what we basically do is that we click on the, the water droplet design then we bring it all the way up so we make um the ripple effects actually appear be um, behind um the design itself giving it more feel to it um let's click on this let's give it um 50 percent gray something like this yeah something like this that's that's not bad so we hit shift click this to ctrl g to group them together and yes we are basically done for 
this the water droplet design and also that so as always thank you very much mm -hmm.